Hi, my name is Dan, and this is a video introduction to my 2019 Ford Ranger and 2019 Trayon Camper. Uh, my wife and I arranged for this build in late 2019. We used the Trayon turnkey service so that they helped us purchase the Ford and um, arranged for the off-road uh, upgrades to the Ford and then uh, built the Trayon uh, Camper to our specifications and added on the um, add-ons that we wanted so that the whole uh, rig was ready for us when we arrived in Australia in uh, January, uh, mid-January 2020. Our intention was to drive around Australia for about a year and then to sell the rig uh, when we were done. Obviously, because of the pandemic, our plans changed. We ended up spending most of the time in New South Wales. Uh, we did do a lot of camping, not nearly as much as we wanted. And in any case, sadly, um, it's time for us to have to sell the rig. So what I'm going to do is put together uh, photos and videos uh, detailing the ute and the uh, upgrades to it and the camper and uh, kind of how to exist with the camper and features of it and a few tips. So hope it goes okay. Here it is. First, the Ranger. This is a 2019 model year in the XLT trim. It's a 3.2 liter, six speed automatic four wheel drive. This is the super cab model, meaning it's four door with a small back seat, not as big as a double cab. The color is Arctic white. The XLT comes in the pickup form, but I had the tub removed and replaced with a tray built by Trayon for a perfect marriage of the camper to the Ranger. I purchased the Ranger in Queensland, but have recently re-registered it in New South Wales. The current registration along with CTP insurance expires on 21st of October, 2021. The one year 15,000 kilometer service was performed at a Ford dealer on 20th of October, 2020. There were no issues found during the service check. The Ford roadside assistance service is transferable to a new owner and still good for another year. The odometer reading is currently a bit over 14,000 kilometers. At the recommendation of Trayon, we had ARB install a GV, GVM upgrade prior to the initial registration, so that the vehicle is now rated at 3,500 kilograms GVM. Here's a list of some of the other upgrades and add-ons to the Ford Ranger. This is an ARB Summit steel winch bull bar. It's a combo bar, so there are places to mount a winch and another aerial if desired. Fog lights were added to the bull bar. This is ARB uh, recovery point and underbody protection. Uh, Safari snorkel was added. There are five BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain 265-70 R17 tires. A pair of Max Trax recovery tracks. A shovel. Clear view power fold chrome rear view mirrors. These can be pulled in or out as desired. Um, they are adjustable from the rear view mirror controls um, inside on the dash and there's a button for folding them in. Under the hood, there's a secondary fuel filter added and a Provent catch can. This prevents oil and carbon deposits forming around the intake manifold and reduces oil consumption. ARB front and rear differential breathers were added. Fuses related to new devices have been labeled. The constant powered Anderson plug that carries power from the Ranger battery to the camper is mounted to the tray. I added 900 millimeter tapered aluminum under tray toolboxes on both sides of the Ranger. These are lockable and fairly spacious. I tend to keep my toolkit on one side and all the recovery gear on another. An ARB single air compressor is mounted under the passenger seat. The power switch for this is on the dashboard below the interior climate controls. Uh, there's a detachable hose uh, with a gauge. Also included is an ARB um, tire deflator. An ARB long range fuel tank is installed underneath the tray. This replaces the original 80 liter tank with a 140 liter tank. Uh, this was considered a modification and that's why there's a modification plate on the door panel. The code LM1 refers to a modified fuel tank. 
This is a Selfie Go Telstra mobile phone booster and aerial. The booster is located under the passenger seat. To use it, you need to download the Waves app. There's an 80 liter under tray water tank attached to the truck uh, with pump that can be uh, used if the engine is running. Old Man Emu BP-51 premium shock absorbers were installed. There's a Tradesman alloy roof rack with wind deflector and light bar. Also included are the ARB jump starter professional charge kit. There's an ARB tire repair kit and an ARB premium recovery kit. And now the Trayon. This is the 1980 millimeter size, which is the wider of the two sizes that can be used with a Super Cab Ute. The particular model is the Diesel Deluxe, which has the most features of the three models that Trayon offers. In particular, this has a diesel heat exchange unit, which provides hot water and a furnace. See the Trayon website for details about other features and specifications of this model. What I will do now is quickly list the Trayon accessories that we purchased. I'll show some of the features in more detail in separate videos on how to set up the camper and on using it. First, we have a fly extension for creating a larger space for shade and outside rain shelter. There's a fold-out canvas double outhouse with 120 watt solar panel on the roof. We added one extra underbody drawer in addition to the two that come with the diesel deluxe. We added the external kitchen bench and external hot and cold water tap. There are tuck away bed reading lights. We added an external drop down table. This is extremely valuable. It's a place to set things while going in and out of the camper. There's an internal fan. This can be stowed away, then placed on an interior pole when needed and plugged into one of the two interior 12 volt cigarette lighter power points. I'm not showing it, but we also upgraded to the 100 amp lithium battery. And I will discuss that more along with the solar power generation in the usage video.